Hi everyone. Today we are going to go for a very simple flight. Flight. It's just a sightseeing flight around New York City area. And today is a clear blue sky, so we're going to do a VFR departure. And we're leaving Poughkeepsie Airport, which is in Class D airspace. So the radio calls are very simple, uh, but they, there is a control tower here. So they're not as, as simple as a non-controlled, uncontrolled field, but here we go. So this is what we do. First thing we have to do whenever we are at an airport, we have to listen to what's called the ATIS information. Okay. Airport information, Lima 185, phase of observation, wind 340 at 10. Visibility 10 is kind of clear, 12, 2000, temperature 5, dew point minus 7, all temperature 29 or 85. You're approaching you, sending and departing room 833. There is weather information available on highways and flight service frequencies. Advise initial contact, you have Lima. So. We now have information Lima, and winds are 340 at 10 knots, which is kind of windy, but it's lined up to the runway, which makes it a good thing. Good. Uh, they told us here that we're going to use runway 33. So if you look on the map here, that's where we are in front of these hangars. Oh, that's runway cool. Runway 33, the, the numbers on the runway are the compass heading. Oh, uh, so okay. So 33 is heading 330. Okay. So you need to go come here and to do like... Like I this. have to go across the taxiway here, and I have to kind of cross two active runways. So th there's a control tower here. The tower frequency controls people in the air. Right. Okay. Or people about to use the active runway. The ground frequency controls all the operations on the ground. Okay. Okay. So before you ever call them, you're, su you're supposed to get the ATIS information. Gotcha. So the information changes roughly every hour and they give it a designation. So this is information Lima. Okay. Now, at some point, it'll change, and the next information will be Mike with oh. them. Oh. And so when I call him, I'm going to say, I have information Lima. Okay. Which tells him that I know the information as of that point. That you're going to use 33. That I'm going to use runway 33. When you're in aviation, you don't say 33, you say 33. 33, okay. okay. So I'm going to call him now. This is the radio. I've now got my ground frequency, POU ground. Okay. And I'm going to use the push to talk button on the mic here. Okay. And I'm going to call. So here we go. Duchess ground, Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet. Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet, Duchess ground, good afternoon, information Lima. Yes, sir. We have Lima. We're on the ground at Juliet and request taxi to runway 33. Cirrus 7 Tango Juliet, runway 33, taxi via Delta. Bravo cross 33 on Delta, hold short of 24 on Bravo. Taxi to 33, Delta, Bravo, cross 33, hold short of 24. 7 Tango Juliet. Okay, so everything that they say to you, you have to read back to them. Okay? Why don't you say 547 Tango Juliet? The say first call, first time you call, you have to use your full call sign. The subsequent calls, if you're on the ground and it's not busy on the radio, you can abbreviate it to the last three letters. Oh, okay. When you're in the air, you only abbreviate if they abbreviate. Okay. So once the controller abbreviates to you, then you abbreviate from that point on. Okay. Now, um, the runway markings are actually kind of interesting because, you know, I forgot to turn the GoPro on. Um, the runway markings are kind of interesting because they are exactly the same everywhere in the world. So the yellow line is in the center, and when you're entering a runway, it's a solid line because you're supposed to stop before the runway. Gotcha. He already cleared us to cross this runway and told us to stop before the next runway. Okay. Now, usually, he may even tell us to go before we... Sure, 7 Tango Juliet, cross 2-4 on Bravo, hold short, 3-3 three, three on Bravo. Cross runway 2-4 and holding short of runway 3-3 three, three on Bravo. 7 Tango Juliet. Now, that wasn't a great radio call because I kind of chopped it up in the middle there. I should have done that a little more smoothly. But he did tell me I can cross 2-4. Now, here they usually do this. By the t Originally, they told you to stop here. That way, they don't have to keep both runways free for you. And if he got busy and got busy with something else, I would have stopped before we crossed that runway. Gotcha. But now, we're almost there. You see, we just crossed the runway. We're going to 3-3. And he said, stop before I get to 3-3. Now, we need to stop anyway, because we have one more checklist to do before and we go. Where you stop? It's in the B or around The there. yellow thing? Okay. Around there. It, okay. There's a marking there that is very That's obvious really that you can't go. It's a real-time thing. It's real-time. 
It is the best quality GPS you can you can uh, have. Cool. All right. So you see where the lines, how they change to a like solid in the center dash da, dash yep. dash, and then that solid line. Yep. That is the official beginning of the runway 33 environment. He told me to hold short of that. Okay. So I have to be behind that line. Okay. Now what we got to do is we got to do a checklist because everything in the plane deals with checklists. So we're going to we're going to do our before takeoff checklist. All right. Now Duchess Tower, Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet, ready for departure runway 33 VFR southbound. Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet, Duchess Tower, runway 33, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 233. Seven Tango Juliet. All right, so engine gauges are on. The engine page is on for takeoff. All the engine gauges are looking in the green. All right, here we go. It. That's how you do a VFR departure at an airport inside Class D airspace. That's what I call an upgrade. <laughs> And Cirrus 7 Tango Juliet, left turn southbound approved. There is uh, traffic at Cirrus inbound for the midfield. Left downwind belt, entering it right now. Okay, we're turning southbound and keep an eye out for the other Cirrus. 7 Tango Juliet. Subscribe so you can keep up with my latest videos.